What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be reacting to A Scary Vacation Story 3, animated by Llama Arts. Uh, like I said in the last video, comment down and tell me some uh, new scary videos to watch. You know, just let me know uh, what to watch and what I can react to and stuff like that. You know, so, you know, you guys have an input and I can supply what y'all want. You feel me? Uh, sorry if I'm, I'm a little off in this video. Uh, I'm not feeling too good right now. But... Original video link will be down in the description. Let's get into the reaction. During my holiday, I spent about three weeks in Japan. I arrived pretty late, so I couldn't check into the hotel that I initially booked. So I booked the cheapest hotel that I could find nearby. I want to go to Japan so bad. Aesthetically, it was quite nice but it did have easy access to the building, meaning anyone could come in and go to any room as they please. Plus, there was no security in sight. That's pretty After arriving weird. in my room, I ordered some food and watched some TV. This I was still watching workout fucking videos. Flight, so I started to get ready for bed. As I was falling asleep, I felt the urge to double check the door just to see if it was locked. I didn't think anything was going to happen, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Of course. About five minutes after I checked the door, I heard footsteps outside. Initially, I thought it was someone leaving their room, but the footsteps started to pick up speed. The sounds started getting louder and louder, and I started to freak out a little. All of a sudden, the sound stopped. I looked at the light shining through the bottom of my door. Oh, hell no. It was no. a shadow of a person. At first, I thought it was room service, but... Man, is it standing in front of your door? Or maybe it was some drunk idiot who was at the wrong room. As soon as I switched my light on, the shadow disappeared. I was confused, but I reluctantly went back to bed. That's when I suddenly heard scratching coming from my door. So I immediately turned my light on and shouted, See? Who's there? Nigga, why would you say After something? After a moment of silence, I heard the footsteps slowly fade away. At this point, I was thinking it could be some kids messing around, so I got up opened the door and peeked my head outside. See, I glanced in both no. directions down the dark and slim hallways. That's when my heart stopped. A man emerged from the darkness and ran erratically towards me. His face was contorted as he screamed, and I could see he was holding a knife in his Dude, right hand. Dude, what the fuck, as he bro? Got closer, I could see him. Nigga, close the door! He had disgusting, low, oh, dirty Oh, fuck hair. no. His clothes were ripped, and he had cuts and bruises. Yo, this man over. is moving. How does nobody hear this nigga? door and pressed against it, praying that the man would just go away. Bro. After what felt like hours, I finally gathered my courage and looked through the peephole. He was gone. Or I so you fucking think. Relief and check the people again. Bro, I should... My heart started pumping faster than ever before. He was right in front of the door. Bro, he was what a the fuck? Smile on his face, and all of a sudden he raised his knife and yelled. That nigga knows plenty of shit, dog. You. Who are you, dog? I don't even know the you. Door as I backed up to my bed. Did you I lock it? My phone and started dialing the police. As I raised the phone to my ear. I saw that the shadow was gone. When the you police still arrived, call I tried to explain what happened, and they checked the security cameras. They almost immediately recognized the man. He had been doing this to people for a while now, and the police had been trying to track him down for months. After a long night of no sleep, I finally arrived at the right hotel so homie just got initially unlucky. in Tokyo. That creepy guy was still on my mind. But I thought the chances of him being here were pretty slim, so I didn't bother locking my door that night. What? At 5 a.m., I woke up to a big bang next that to That is some white people I shit, bro. Lock your fucking doors. I passed out on the floor with a knife in hand. I was in shock. How did he find me? I quickly ran out of the room and locked him inside. Bro, you got a lucky man to pass the fuck out. The cops came, and he was finally arrested. Let's just say I'm always going to be locking my doors from now on. Bro, you should have been locking your doors. Type of weird shit. Bro, people like that that don't be locking their doors when they sleep, like in like hotels and shit. Y'all is hella weird. I understand if you like in your own house and you don't lock your doors, like inside the house, you got to lock your front door. But like my dude, come on, bro. That's just safety. 
That is just the smart thing to do. But let me know down below. Do y'all lock y'all doors like when y'all sleep? Or do y'all just live in that type of neighborhood where y'all feel like y'all ain't got to lock y'all doors so y'all don't? Let me know down in the comments. Original video link will be down in the description. Code criteria in the item shop. And I will see y'all on Monday. I love y'all. Peace. I'ma pull up in that new thing, feeling like I'm Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I get more money than your man. So baby, hop up in my new thing, put you on some new things. Hopefully, I'm.